All right. So I want to ask you about uh, how much did you, why did you buy the George Russell and how much did you pay for the George Russell? What can, what can you share with us? Um, I pay around 400. It's a refractor. And I mean, this is, the card is in very, very good condition and has a good shot at PSA 10. Um, when you look at the difference between, I mean, George Russell, everyone knows he's one of the greatest talent in Formula One right now. And also, I mean, he just made the move from Williams to Mercedes and he's going to be Lewis Hamilton's teammate. I think in a few years, George Russell will have won a world championship. Also, he's going to win his first race this season. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. If I'm sure of something is that George Russell and Lando Norris are going to win their first races this season. So imagine it, it, it's, I don't want to say the equivalent of winning a Super Bowl because it's, there's never going to be an equivalent of that. But with the growing demand of F1 cards, I mean, having this guy winning his first race, and I have two refractors. So my play here will be to keep them until something happens and then sell them. Um, I, I bought both of these refractors for just under 400 and 400 US. Uh, I'm going to get both of them graded. When you look at the PSA 9, the play there on the PSA 9 grade is there, there's, you don't lose, but you don't gain a lot right now by having a PSA 9. I think in the long run, for sure, you'll agree with me, it's going to go up. But the PSA 10 last sold, I think, for 1600 um, US. So there's the play, trying to have trying to have a 10. And um, I think both of these cards are in very, very good condition. So I'm going to submit them to um, PSA for sure. But yeah, this, this is the play. It's, you know, and you, you say it very well in your sports card uh, invested, investment report that you don't chase, you don't need to chase these players or in that case these drivers that are very popular right now and the up-and-comers george is an up-and-comer i mean if you look at the f1 world he's probably the second or third most prized driver so lewis being the first max verstappen being second and george is right there depending on the variation of the card and also lando has a high value because people know I mean, what I'm telling you is no secret for any F1 fan. But if you're a new F1 fan, which there's a lot uh, right now and also coming in the next months, years, with Liberty Media buying, with this new Miami Grand Prix coming up, um, and, and also the ton of advertising that they've been doing and also Drive to Survive on Netflix, people are going to learn to know these guys and also love them. There's also some drivers to me that are underpriced, which I'm going to invest in in the next weeks and months. But to me, George is a, he's a safe bet. You don't have a lot of risk because you know he's going to win a world championship. He's in a car that can win a world championship where Lando, you get a little more risk because you don't know if McLaren can win a world championship. And what's it going to be? What's going to be? the value of a Lando Norris card in four years if he doesn't win a championship. So when I look at my money and my budget, where am I putting my dollars first? Lewis Hamilton, George Russell. That's, that's my play. Um, love it. Thanks everybody for, for your questions, sportscardstrategy.com. I'm Paul Hickey with nooffseason.com. Thank you for watching and listening to the Sports Card Strategy Show with my man, man, co-host Greg Longto. Greg, great having you here today. We were great brought to you there, by uh, Market Movers app. MarketMoversApp.com by Sports Card Investor. Go there. Use the promo code No Off Season All Lowercase to save twenty percent. And we will see you back here soon. Everybody, thanks and have a great day.